Wave Accounting Demo, Best Business Accounting Software. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Wave Accounting Software and how to navigate through this platform. So let's get into it. First off, you are going to sign up and create your account. This is free to use, so you can sign up for free. You can either add your email or password or just continue with your Google account. I'm going to continue with my Google account over here. And now after you have entered your email, you're going to add your personal details. So you're going to add your name and then your business name. And then you're going to add what kind of business you do. So you're going to select the category you're currently working in, or you can add, I make or sell a product or I provide a service. So let's just say that we do art, photography, and creative services. And then you select country that you're living in. Then you select the currency that you are using. Make sure that this is accurate because this is what all of your accounting is going to be based on. You're just going to click on next. And then you select the services that you would like to start with. You can obviously do more later, but the basic things that you want to start with is probably going to be sending invoices or running a effortless payroll. So let's just say we are doing invoices. Currently, you're going to select how many invoices you need. And how do you create invoices right now? Let's just say that you have pens and paper. And then you have to select customers. So let's just say you have two to five customers. Do you accept online payments? And you can select if you do or do not. After that, you have to select how long your organization has been working. So under a year. And then you select your property or business type. And then you have a business bank account or not. And then how you pay your business expenses. So it depends. If you have a business account, then you're going to do it with your business account card. If you're the sole owner of your business and you're managing your business yourself, you probably are using your own credit card or debit card. So let's just say that we go with a cash check or other because a lot of businesses that are starting out usually do start off with cash. Now you can see over here, this is your basic dashboard on wave accounting software and it's very easy to navigate through that is why i really like using the wave accounting software now over here on the left you can see your launchpad so this is your home page then you have your dashboard so this is your launchpad then you have your dashboard so in your dashboard you can view all of your progress everything that is happening and have a quick summary of all that is going on on your accounting software then you can have your sales and purchase um, sections. So in sales, you have different categories, your estimates, invoices, recurring invoices, checkouts, payments, customer statements, customers, products, and services. Below that, you have your purchases. So you have bills, vendors, products, and services. Then you have your accounting. So transactions, reconciliations, chart of accounts, and hire a bookkeeper. Obviously, if you're starting out and a beginner, you really don't need any of these functionalities a lot at all. And then you have your banking system, so your connected accounts, payouts, and insurance. You have your payroll over here, employees, timesheets, payroll transactions, taxes, tax forms. Then you have your reports, VAVA advisors, and tax filing. Now, tax filing is a new function that they have introduced depending on where you are based in. So... If you're working in the United States and Canada, you can definitely use this feature, but for a lot of other countries, this is still an inaccessible feature. Now, going back to our launch pad over here, let's just say we are going to start off with a payroll. Not a payroll, an invoice. So let's start creating our invoice. And first off, you are going to create estimates. Now you're going to continue. And you can name your estimates so you can name them sample one, sample two. And then you're going to add your customers. So your customers are going to be added based on their emails. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this, add my customer. So let's just see, this is my customer. And this is going to be charged in USD as well. Then you can add my subheading. So let's say this is a service fee. And then I have the footer for and then you're going to add your items so you can add products depending on what you're doing so first off you can name your product so our product name could be cleaning service then you're going to choose your income account so if it comes from sales if it comes from anything else now obviously this is even though this is a service this is being sold so you're going to do that then you're going to add the price so you can add any obscure little number that you might want and then you're going to add a description if you want but for now i'm going to skip that and now like this, I have created this simple little invoice. After that, I am going to add the date and this invoice is going to expire in 
on the last date and I'm going to save this. Now over here you can see this is a basic sample of an invoice. It looks very neat, it looks very professional and it's just so simple to do with the Wave accounting app. Making invoices like that with by hand or making them on PowerPoint, Excel, all of those applications is so time consuming and Wave surely simplifies it for you. So after creating your invoice, it's just as simple to set up your payroll. Now I'm going to go into payroll over here on the left side and let's just click on employees and I'm going to add a few fake employees to start creating my payroll. What I'm going to do is wait. Now I can just click on get started. And as a business owner, this really does uh, simplify your work a lot. So first off, you're going to add employees and contractors. Employees are different. Contractors are paid based on their work and employees are paid regardless of what they have been doing. They are paid a same amount over and over again. You're going to fill out the personal information, then you're going to fill out their work information, and then you're going to save the employee. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now, below the personal details of your employees, you have to add your work information and you can select the location of work and this is important as well. Then you select the wage type if they're paid annually or per hour, then you have the wage amount and then you have a direct deposit or not, like so, and then you have a vacation policy as well. So this is a very nice feature of the vacation policy because um, it simplifies the vacation timings that you have to calculate and account for. So you're going to save this employee. Now my employee has been added. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my timesheets. Timesheets are the amount of time this employee has dedicated, especially if you're paying people by the hour. You will have to set up your timesheets. If you're paying them annually, obviously you can skip the timesheets uh, if you want. But that, that just depends on the pay formula that your business has opted for. But if you click on run payroll over here, and payroll can't be run if you haven't added your basic information for your employees and your payroll settings because payroll is something that is um, more complicated than just creating an invoice. So you can add contractors, then you can add a schedule. So the pay schedule is going to be maybe every week. And then you can select the day that it gets paid, like so. I'm going to save and continue like this. After that, you have a company signatory, so a person that has to legally sign your documents to uh, make sure that payroll happens. And then you can authorize your payroll once you add your signatory and your business. So for your business, you can get your IRS EIN document that you need that you will have to add into the Wave accounting software. Generally, this is just an overview of how to use and set up your Wave accounting software and start managing your business and your accounting needs over here now let's move on to the pricing that you have on wave accounting so it's free that's it wave accounting is absolutely free it allows you unlimited income expense tracking it gives you track sales tax on income and expenses it gives you unlimited partners collaborators or accountants you have a fully functional double entry system you have powerful reports on overdue invoices bills and cash flows you have unlimited bank and credit card connections, and you can easily organize expenses into tax categories, run multiple businesses in one account, and you can instantly see how your business is performing on your dashboard. And you can see over here, even they have us asked this, answered this question, what's the cash? How does Wave make its money if they're not offering the service for a premium version? Well, as I said before, this service is only available in the US and Canada, and it charges a competitive 2.9% plus 30 cent fee to process most credit cards where they will get a small cut for their services. And that's how Wave makes its money, or they can have Wave advisors that make the money for Wave. But for your own personal use, Wave is absolutely free. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to easily navigate through the Wave accounting software and I will catch you guys in the next video.